Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, we're gonna answer some questions together about the article we just read, Inspired by, by a Bird. So first, um, before we begin, we're going to number our paragraphs so that it's easy to go back and cite text evidence. I counted six paragraphs. I hope you did too. Now, uh, let's look at the first question here. The first question says, explain the problem with the first Shinkansen trains. So I remember reading about the first Shinkansen trains in paragraph number two. Okay, so I'm going to go reread that information. Um, the first Shinkansen trains had a big problem. Okay, so explain the problem with the first Shinkansen trains. I can't just say the trains had a big problem because it wants me to explain the problem, so I need to keep reading. But I'll underline first Shinkansen trains so I have those words when I need to rewrite. Uh, the trains had to travel through many tunnels. The trains made a loud noise when they came out of a tunnel. Boom. People who lived near the tunnels were unhappy. Okay, so I read that since they had to travel through many tunnels, they made a loud noise when they came out of the tunnel. So the trains, the problem was the trains made a loud noise when they came out of the, the tunnel as a result, people were unhappy. So I'm going to rewrite that there. The trains, and I am going to make sure, since the words are here in the article, I'm going to make sure I spell them correctly when I write. The trains made a loud noise when they came out of a tunnel. Tunnel, T-U-N-N-E-L, period. Okay, the trains made a loud noise when they came out of a tunnel. Okay, so that was the problem with them. Number two, discuss why the kingfisher was interesting to the engineers. Now, I remember the author talked about the kingfisher in paragraph number four. So I'm going to go back and reread paragraph number four. And again, I'm looking for why the kingfisher was interesting to the engineers. The engineers looked at a bird called a kingfisher for inspiration. The kingfisher has a short, thick body and a long, thin beak. The bird dives into the water to catch fish. When it enters the water, it does not make a loud sound. Hmm, that's a lot of information about the kingfisher. But I think why it was interesting to the engineers be is because the kingfisher does not, does not, it does not make a loud sound when it enters the water. And that was important to them or relevant to them because they were trying to design a train that would not make a loud sound when it came out of a tunnel. So I'm going to rewrite what I see here in my own words. So the king Fisher does not make A loud sound or I could say noise make a loud sound when it enters or dives into the water okay. 
kingfisher does not make a loud sound when it enters the water. So you're going to finish answering question number three and then use the information you gathered and rewrote for question number one, two, and three to complete the paragraph at the bottom.